Image editing got the easy click up level in Canva to fast track your content creation. Let's dive into three easy ways to edit your images with up leveled Canva magic. Hi, I'm Donna, Canva verified expert and Canva creator. I train non-designers and teams to create amazing visuals with Canva and I've designed thousands of templates for Canva's library used over 20 million times. And in this video, I'm showing you three cool magic image editing tools that just got an up level in Canva announced with the most recent Canva Create updates. Let's do this. Now, did I say this was easy? Just a couple of times, but with these new updates, what was easy is now even easier with these features. Canva Magic lets you grab and edit multiple elements at once now across three Canva Magic AI features that are my favorites right now. Magic Eraser, Magic Grab, and Grab Text. Just a heads up that these are pro features I'm talking about today and just one of the many reasons why it's worth getting Canva Pro. There's so much more you can do when creating visual content. If you don't have pro, you can take it for a spin on my link at sociallysorted.com.au forward slash Canva. I'll leave the link in the description. And be sure to stay to the end of this video because I have a bonus quick tip for branded images. Now, let's jump in to the image editing features. First up is Magic Eraser. Now you can not only use the brush to select any element to erase from your image, but you can also use a cool one-click feature to erase an element. Let's put Magic Eraser through its paces with this image of two surfer girls. All I have to do is click the image and then go to edit, and that will bring up a lot of different filter and effects menus, and I want the Magic Studio one. Now just note these are all mostly pro features other than Magic Edit, which is a really cool feature that allows you to replace one element with another generated by AI. But as you can see here, we've got background remover, magic eraser, magic grab, grab text, some of these I'll be showing you. What we want for now is magic eraser. I'm going to click on that. And now previously, we were only really able to use the brush to highlight an element to remove. Now we can use this click method, which allows me to click and highlight a number of things and you can see here Canva is recognizing what could re be removed and I could do both of these girls. Uh, I say one click but sometimes it will separate out elements to click. So let's just clear this. I'm going to just do one girl today and then all I have to do is hit erase and as you can see, Magic Eraser has done a pretty good job of removing the second surfer. Now, one thing to be aware of if you are removing objects and it's around lighting, you might notice that there's shadows here. Strictly, I would need to remove this shadow. Now, you might need to get a bit technical with that. Often, it's not too tricky and you don't have to remove extra elements. But if I wanted to make this really accurate, I would probably come in here and use the brush tool. If I go to click, I think it will probably not give me the results that I want because it's going to highlight more than just that shadow. So let's just go back to using the brush tool and I can probably get fairly accurate here and just remove, I'm going to remove that footprint as well. Let's see how that looks. That's not too bad. Now none of these tools are perfect and you will hit up against some images that don't allow you to remove items really clearly. But considering the lighting and the shadow in this photo, if this was a photo you just wanted to highlight one surfer, I reckon uh, that's not a bad result. Let's jump into the next one. The second feature I love for image editing in Canva is Magic Grab. Now this allows you to select any object from your photo and almost release it so it can be easily positioned or resized and edited within your design while keeping the same background. It's very, very cool and you can do some cool effects with it. The update to this is that you can now grab multiple elements and release them from the image so that you can play with them um, and edit them as you wish. Let's take a look. So we're going to use this stunning photo of some wildlife in Africa and I want to add some text to it. So I just need to nudge the lion to the right a little bit and I'm going to use magic grab to do that. So again, I come up to edit with my photo highlighted and then I come over here to magic grab in the magic studio menu. Now to start the grabbing process, I just need to really click any highlighted element. Again, I can use the brush, but I'm going to use this new click feature and I can highlight a number of animals if 
if I want to remove them, um, that's really cool. You can do more than one. But for now, I'm just going to do the lion and then I hit grab and it will just process. And essentially, it's just removing the lion from the background. So then I can edit it specifically. Okay, so you see that little flash there. He is now his own lion. Now, there's no shadow under the lion, which makes this perfect for magic grab. I'm going to just remove that background for us, the menu for a second. Now, I have full control over my lion. Now, what I wanted to do was just add some text here. So, I'm just going to add a bit of text. There, let's go League Spartan. I'm just going to do something simple like King of the Jungle Oops. and make it a little bit bigger. The cool thing about Magic Grab is you can then start playing with layers. So this lion is now its own layer. So I can bring him forward and make him stand a little bit in front of my text. Like this, maybe if I make this all caps, it's a better effect. So I could play around with this and have some animals in front of the lettering. Um, I can also make him bigger, depending on perspective. I don't want to get it too crazy, but I can just make him a little bit bigger there and just have him like this. Um, I would possibly need to move him away from his antlers just so that it's not incorrect. But there, you can see you can really start to play around with different elements and by removing them from the background, it gives you a lot of creative control, especially if you're doing things like text and elements and you want to give that overlap feeling You can or, or effect, you can start to play with layers. So that is Magic Grab. Let's jump into the next one. The last image editing feature that I love in Canva is Grab Text and it literally allows you to edit text on a photo so previously we were unable to do this now we can there are a few caveats to it you can't uh, edit text that's um, on a slope or at an angle uh, it doesn't do well yet with things like italics but if it's pretty plain text on an image then you can get some decent results so here's an example of a template that I designed that I've just uploaded as a photo let's take a look at how it works with grab text for grab text, the process is very similar again. All I need to do is click on the image and go to edit. Again, you will get the Magic Studio menus and I just come through here to find grab text. That will open up the grab text menu. And again, previously it was kind of all text. You were editing everything. Now I can click and just highlight one particular section. So let's come down here and just choose this text at the bottom and then it will process for a moment and as you can see that's a pretty good match usually if it's a font that canva recognizes it will be pretty close if it's not one in canva then it might be slightly different and i can just type away here olivia wilson is joining us and i've been able to edit text Brand new text, the old text is gone on an image, which is pretty cool if you think about it. Now, let's see what happens if we try this more unusual font here and choose News Desk. Let's see what happens. Okay, now, as this is a font in Canva, it's picking it up really well. So we could go in and edit these other words as well. Um, you know, I could change this to on the podcast, but that's pretty impressive that it recognises the font. Now, to be fair, I did do this template in Canva originally, so it's probably recognising that it's a Canva font. But if you get the right font, the effect can be pretty amazing. I mean, to be able to pull that out and then just um, change it to whatever you want is amazing. Okay, I'm just going to show you another example of how this works. Mainly just to highlight that it's not perfect. So if you push it a little bit too far, you might not get great results. It's best to keep it to simple text. But this would be an example of a font that I expect is going to be tricky. So let's see how this works. Let's go to edit. Let's go to grab text and see what happens. 
I'm just going to click there and see what Canva gives me. So as you can see, it's picking a similar font. So it's not really that chalkboard effect. It's had a good attempt and I could make a, a good quote here. I might need to remove the residual text at the top and just write a new quote. Um, that could work. But it just sort of highlights that the more simple the text is or if it's a Canva font, it will be better results. But all in all, this is a great feature and gives you a lot of flexibility if you've got a document you need to edit and you can't get the original or uh, as in a photo or you just want to use a photo that you have and add some text or edit text it gives you a great uh, additional tool in your toolkit for using Canva Magic AI all right you've stayed this long and I promised a bonus feature so here it is the feature I want to show you is apply colors to page and this allows you to add colors or a reference or inspiration uh, that you have in a photo or a design that you want to apply to another design or template. So this is just a simple interior design template and I want to apply some colors from a different photo. Now you could you know just choose a photo from the library or it could be something that you have already that you like. So in this case I like these colors here and all I have to do is right click on the image and then go down here to apply colors to page and it will automatically apply colors to that page. Now, if I don't like that, maybe I think this yellow is a bit um, pastel or it doesn't work well, I can just simply do it again and keep entering um, the command and it will shuffle different options. So just, I like that one actually, but I could keep looking at different. That one's quite nice too. So it's a very cool way to bring in some color inspiration from somewhere else. So use that in your designs in Canva. Let's wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed these Canva magic image editing tools. And now you can go forward and use magic eraser, magic grab and grab text in your designs. Now, don't forget if you want to take Canva Pro for a spin and you're not currently using it, you can go to this QR code or sociallysorted.com.au forward slash Canva for a free trial. And if you like this video, please subscribe. It helps me to create more content for you. Let me know what your favorite image editing feature is and be sure to check out the video on the screen for another Canva magic tutorial. Enjoy playing with these Canva features. Stay creative.